OK, we're up the start, and there are the boys from Hereford Rowing Club in the west of England on the Berkshire Station. That's the sort of far side where all the enclosures are. They row in a very distinctive black and white there. Motif is a Hereford bull, not surprisingly. And the crew from Curly Rowing Club in the east of London in blue on this side of the course, kind of around the Greenwich area. They row on the uh, Victorian Albert Dock, if you know that. Um, I'm, I'm just thinking, Pete, you've rowed in so many falls. Where did you like to sit in a Coxley's fall? What's your favourite seat? Uh, do you know, I love the two seat. Oh, go uh, on, why? Why I, do you love the two seat? Well, uh, so too much pressure in the stroke seat for me. Um, and I, I like to I like to see what's going on. I like to do the donkey work at two. Um, it was it was always a privilege to do the calls. Uh, I was two seat in London, so uh, for the Olympics in 2012. So that was always a, the, the, maybe one of the most special memories for me. And it, it's funny just sitting here. The men's coxswain's fall. I've got this dry smile on my face. Very very fond memories of this boat class, um, and particularly at this event as well uh, in, with Feather Stewards in, in my case. Yeah, I, I love seeing I love seeing the falls, not least because of the extra steering duties that they've got to do without uh, Cox on board. So this Hereford crew, uh, to give you an idea, they were just outside the top 50 in the men's head of the river, which took place uh, in the spring of this year. So in, in terms of the standard, they're definitely set for this Wi-Fi Challenge Cup, which is a club event and curly you will still fancy their chances they're still kind of in contact there we're looking at uh, richard ray he qualified for the wifolds back in 2018 with worcester and now he's run with hereford he's an architectural designer and he looks quite comfortable well, a little drop from that uh, right shoulder at the back end but otherwise run pretty well in the stroke seat alex butler um and uh, Alex Butler's an interesting one because Tim Mayle, who was an Athens Olympian, turned up at the West Country Regatta weekend, Monmouth, uh, Ross on Wye and Hereford, and he teamed up with Alex Butler to win their uh, C-Class over 42s pairs final by a couple of lengths at Ross Regatta. So uh, Alex, the stroke man, has rode with a Sydney, uh, an Athens Olympian. Curly rowing club there and uh, based in Greenwich, um, so uh, up in the bowels, Nick Walton, who learnt to row at Hillby College at Durham, Pete O'Callaghan in two, it's coastal rower Tom Weeks, learnt to row at school back in 2005, eventually joined Curly in, in 2015, and Jack Davison, well, he's from the competitor club, Globe Rowing Club, they then speak their names, which are kind of Curlew's competitors, but he's now at Curlew, and apparently, Pete, the crew have been chugging beetroot juice in an effort to uh, give them some beans in the second half of the course. You ever tried out beetroot juice? I, so, when it comes to performance, training and recovery come first. So if anyone's watching and listening and they want to raise their game, get enough sleep, drink enough water, get the right food in, do all the training. And that stuff comes way, way, way before thinking about beetroot juice. So if you're introducing beetroot juice before all of the other basics, then something's going horribly wrong. If it's the last 0.0001%, fine, drink some beetroot juice. Go, go crazy, don't make yourself ill. But um, let's, get the, let's get the sleep and the training and, and the food right first. So the, the Hereford Bulls are powering down the enclosures. Curlew are still hanging on to them. Fantastic row from the club that's uh, having their seventh consecutive year of qualifying a Henley Regatta boat. But they're not going to best Hereford crew unless something untoward happens in the last few strokes. I can see them come towards us. The Hereford Bulls have been charging down the whole course. They're going to be absolutely destroyed at the end. But that smile will be on their face because they have won the Wifold Challenge Cup heat on the Tuesday. They will go through to tomorrow where they will race Calgary, who beat Barcelona. And there's Curly. Well done, guys. Decent race, team. Credit to both crews. They, they both will uh, have enjoyed that. I, I think um, they should all athletes should be proud of themselves.